In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to introduce you to the screen capture option in version 15. This is a brand new feature and it allows you to capture audio or video without buying a separate program to do that. I have a blank project here. I'm going to click on the capture media content and this will Im immediately pop up a different screen for me. It has options to capture from various devices and the devices it detects are highlighted in bright white. The other ones are grayed out. Right now it's capturing uh, my voice on capture from microphone. Uh, the other one that we will use in this exercise is to capture from the screen. There are several options. You can change the folder that it stores it at. Uh, you can go into your settings menu here and change other feature and user preferences. Uh, we'll just show you the basics of how to do capture in this particular lesson. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the uh, record screen icon and it will pop up a screen here which gives me some options. First of all, it uh, asks me what my ratio will be, either 4 by 3 or 16 by 9, and then I can uh, define the size of the window. In order to be able to record everything here within another recording window, which is what I have going on, I'm going to leave it at 640 by 480. Now if I click the re record button at this moment, uh, it would just record a black screen. So in a moment I'm going to pull in um, a, a YouTube video background. But I want you to notice there's another settings here. And in the settings we can define the name of the file, the format of the file, the resolution that we're capturing, the number of frames per second, uh, whether the voiceover is on or off, whether the system audio is on or off, and we can control our start and stop keys, enabling the hotkeys. And we have even more features under advanced if we want to use them. So you can customize these settings to fit uh, what you like to do. So what I'm going to do is drag over here a, um, a screen that has a, a video on it. Okay, so we're going to capture what we see here let me it'll be a voice over voice so i'm talking a little bit louder so we'll hit record f9 is the start and stop default so now it's recording this gentleman talking about skiing now now i press the f9 key and I move it off. <clears throat> we normally wouldn't do that. It's just that I'm trying to manage three recordings at once here. Um, so it says it might be busy. Go to the edit window and try to import. Well, this is no problem. I'm going to click on the OK button. Otherwise, it would show my content in the upper right. And here's my capture that I've just done. I'm going to close that window. And we'll go to the edit window here, like it suggested. All I have to do is right click and import media files. And I'll click on Capture 4, which is the one we just did. Now I can take it, I can drag it into my track, and I can play it if I want to. I'll hit the, my play key, preview. I can edit it, I can resize it, I can do anything I want to as with any other video file in my project. So that's the capture is a real nice feature to capture anything you can put on your computer screen or anything you can feed into a microphone or other devices using PowerDirector version 15.